Miss Ballard, what brings you in today? Well, I think I've been having some trouble hearing my friends and my family. Um, it also feels like I have, I guess, fullness, like in my ears, you know? Feels full? Uh-huh. So would you say that your friends and family seem like they're mumbling at all, or...? Um, I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Hmm, it's, it says here that you've had a lot of ear infections. When was your last one? I don't remember exactly, but I think it was a few weeks ago. But I never went to the doctor for it, because um, normally they go away after a little while. So I just figured I'd wait it out. All right. Well, let's see. I just want to take a quick peek in your ears and just make sure that everything looks okay. Okay. Hmm, your ear canal is looking just a little red and irritated. Do you feel, are you feeling any pain? Any irritation? I'm feeling like a little bit, not, not too bad or anything. Not too bad? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, now I just want to do a little test and see how your eardrum is moving and how how your middle ear is working, okay? Okay. So I'm going to put this little strap right here on your shoulder. Okay. I'm going to put it on your right shoulder. Okay. Okay. I'm just clip this on over here. Okay, so this test is going to be really easy. All I need you to do is sit still and quiet. And what's going to happen is I'm going to put this probe in your ear and it's going to sound a little bit like, it's going to feel like you're in an airplane a little bit. You're going to feel a little bit of pressure, maybe a tone, but it's not, it shouldn't be uncomfortable, okay? You just let me know. Okay. Okay. Just sit tight for me. All right. Let's do the other ear. Okay, good job. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to play some loud beeps in your ear. It's going to be a little bit loud, but it, sh it still shouldn't be that uncomfortable, okay? So just sit nice and quiet and still for me. Still doing okay? All right, good. I'm just going to switch you up one more time now. All right. See, that wasn't so bad. Okay. So now, if you don't mind, we're just going to move over to my little chair over here, and I just want to see if your cochlea is functioning properly, okay? All right. So this machine is just going to measure how your cochlea is working and if those hair cells in your cochlea are, are functioning normally. And what's going to happen is you're going to hear kind of these weird sounding beeps, um, but once again, you just have to sit still and quiet and it shouldn't feel uncomfortable in any way, okay? And if it does, please let me know. All right, here we go. All right, good job. We are all done with that. Okay, let me get you out of there. All right, so that was the easy part where I didn't need you to do anything, but now I'm gonna put you in the booth and put you to work, okay? All right, let's go. 
Okay, we're all done. Let's go on and make our way to the booth. Go ahead and take a seat for me. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna play a series of beeps for you and they're gonna get softer and softer and every time you hear a beep, I just want you to go ahead and push this button for me. There it is. Just go ahead and push this button right here and try not to rest your thumb on it because it's a little bit sensitive, so just, you know, push the button when you hear it. I'm trying to find the softest sound that you can hear, so even if you just think you hear it, go ahead and press that button for me, okay? All right. on your ears. Let me know if it's uncomfortable. Is that all right? I think it needs to be tighter. Okay, let me just fix it. How's that? Does that feel better? Yeah. Wonderful. All right, let's get started. Can you hear me? All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with your right ear, okay? Okay.
Okay, can you hear me? Okay, now go ahead and only press it if you for sure hear it and not if you think you hear it, okay? Okay. Okay, let's try again. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch over to your left ear now, okay?
alright, you can relax for a little bit. We're about to move on to the next part of the test, okay? Can you hear me okay? Um, it's a little bit soft. All right. How about now? That's better. <clears throat> okay. So for this next part of the test, I'm going to read you off a list of words, and I would just like for you to go ahead and repeat them back to me to the best you can, okay? Okay. Hot dog. Hot dog. Airplane. Airplane. Birthday. Birthday. Cowboy. Cowboy. Ice cream. Baseball. Baseball. Playground. Playground. Cupcake. Cupcake. Rainbow. Rainbow. Popcorn. Popcorn. Sunshine. Sunshine. Fire truck. Fire truck. Toothbrush. Toothbrush. Eardrum. Eardrum. Football. Football. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, only the words are going to get softer and softer. Um, just try to repeat them back to me the best that you can. And, um, I'm going to start in your right ear, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Airplane. Airplane. Birthday. Birthday. Ice cream. Ice cream. Hot dog. Hot dog. Rainbow. Playground, eardrum, cupcake, birthday, birthday. Hot, dog. hot dog, airplane, cowboy, cupcake, Sunshine, uh, sure. toothbrush. toothbrush, ice cream, ice cream. Sunshine. sunshine, eardrum. Football. Football. Baseball. Cupcake. Popcorn. Hot dog. Sunshine. Sunshine. Fire truck. Fire truck. Rainbow. Baseball. Cowboy. Cowboy. Okay, now this time a radio is going to be talking to you and it's going to say a carrier phrase like say the word ball and then I would like for you to repeat the last word ball, okay? Okay. Okay. And once again it's going to be in your right ear and then your left ear. So just sit tight for me, okay?
Say the word pig. Say the word nice. Nice. Say the word said. Said. Say the word fail. Fail. Say the word south. South. Say the word white. White. Say the word keep. Say the word dead. Dead. Say the word loaf. Loaf. Say the word dab. Dab. Say the word numb. Numb. Say the word juice. Juice. Say the word chief. Say the word merge. Merge. Say the word wag. Wag. Say the word rain. Rain. Say the word witch. Witch. Say the word soap. Soap. Say the word young. Say the word ton. Ton. Say the word keg. Keg. Say the word calm. Calm. Say the word tool. Tool. Say the word pike. Okay, we're going to move on to your left ear now, okay? Okay. Okay. Say the word base. Base. Say the word mess. Mess. Say the word cause. Cause. Say the word mop. Mop. Say the word good. Good. Say the word luck. Say the word walk. Walk. Say the word youth. Youth. Say the word pain. Pain. Say the word date. Date. Say the word pearl. Say the word search. Search. Say the word ditch. Ditch. Say the word talk. Talk. Say the word ring. Ring. Say the word germ. Germ. Say the word life. Life. Say the word team. Team. Say the word lid. Lid. Say the word pole. Pole. Say the word road. Road. Say the word shall. Shall. 
say the word late. Late. Say the word cheek. Cheek. Say the word beg. Beg. All right, you're doing great. Now I'm gonna come in there and we're gonna do one more series of tests and then we'll be done, okay? Okay. okay. So this is called a bone, it's called a bone vibrator. I'm just going to put it right here behind your ear and it might feel a little bit uncomfortable, but it's just, you know, it, it's not supposed to go on your ear. It's the same thing. You're just going to let me know when you hear a beep. Set this up kind of funny. Thank you. Does that feel all right? Mm. Okay. Let's see. Now I'm going to have to that back on you. Okay. Hmm. Just set that right over. Yeah. Apologize for how uncomfortable this is. <laughs> does it need to be tighter? There. All right. Does that everything feel like it's not going to fall off? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Okay, I'm just going to present some noise in your other ear. Please just try to ignore it and continue to push the button when you hear the beeps, okay? Okay.
All right, now I'm gonna come in there and switch you around. We're gonna do it one more time and then you'll be done, okay? Doing all right? Okay, almost done. right here uh, and kind of across. Does that feel all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I know it's a little awkward. Here we go. All right, does that feel all right? Yeah. Okay. Almost done. We're just going to do the same thing, other ear.
All right, you're all done. I'm gonna come get you now. Thank you. All right, you did it. All right, we are done. Okay. You want to go back out there and have a seat for me? We can go over your results. Okay. All right. Alright, hang in there. Okay, so if we take a look here, so your your tympanogram, it's when I did that airplane sound in your ear, mm -hmm. it showed that your eardrum really wasn't moving very well. Okay. So you know, that could indicate a lot of things. So I went over and then I did some pure tones. And here's your audiogram. And at the top here, it shows pitch, like the keys of the keyboard. You have your low pitches over here and then to your high pitches up here. And then on the left side here, this shows the loudness. Uh, as soft as a whisper up here, and then it gets down to about how loud it is standing next to a jet plane. And so we like normal hearing to be right in this line right here. Anything above that is considered normal hearing. As you can see, your hearing does fall below, especially as you get into those higher pitches. Now, when I did that bone vibrator in there, it showed that if I bypassed your middle ear, that you could hear just fine. Um, so what's kind of concerning to me is um, it seems that there might be something going on in your middle ear. I noticed some irritation. It, you know, it, it could be any kind of outer middle ear issue. You mean like my possible infection from a few weeks ago, maybe? Maybe. Um, I will not tell you uh, with certainty that it is an infection or that it isn't an ear infection at all. But it does look irritated and it did look like there might be some fluid back there. So I would really like for you to go and see your primary care physician and have them take a closer look. Um, and if that is the case, maybe get you some medication to clear that up and then have you come back and see me and we'll retest your hearing and just see how much it improves. Uh, because if you look here, when we, when we did that speech testing, I had you repeat the words. With amplification, when I made it comfortably loud for you, you got 100% of the words correct. So that's, that's really good. It, it seems that everything's working properly when I give you enough volume. So do you have any questions for me today? I don't think so. Okay, you go see that physician and I will see you back here in a couple weeks, all right? All right. All right. Thank you.